Okay, we're here. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining. So, what are we talking about today? Cameras. cameras. Inside cameras. Inside cameras. We talked about some inside cameras last week and some outside cameras a couple weeks ago. So today we're going to talk about inside cameras. So if you've never joined us before, I'm Valerie. And I'm Mark. And we're at my home. Uh, we're tech reviewers. We do, do a lot of tech reviews here on Amazon. We're smart home people. And uh, thanks so much for joining. We also have a YouTube channel. So um, we do a lot of videos on tech stuff. Did I say that? You did. I think you said that already. How many times are you going to say it? We, I guess we should say it all the time. We should say it all the time. Um, but we do a lot of videos on smart home, smart kitchen, just general tech gadgets. And, you know, it would be great if this is your first time here, if you could go ahead and follow us. Why don't you show them how to do that, Mark? All right. Here we go. So on your live screen there, you would see a follow button. If you could hit that, that would be awesome. And then if you want to give us some stars while we're talking, we're not sure what that does, but sounds like a good thing. Uh, and um, why don't you show them our storefront? If you see oh. the little thing up at the top that says view my storefront under at my home. All right, let's go do that. Let's yeah. see. That's over let's on see the main there. camera. So, so the storefront is where we keep all of the things that we review here on Amazon. Uh, so if you look at the screen there, you can see uh, actually we're live. So they'll show the our other live up. streams there on our, on our page. Did you, you notice what it does? It shows the live stream and all the products we're going to go through as well. And so you can actually see it there. And then the other thing in the shop is we have all our our videos that we've done, all right, that are on the pages. And then last week's show and then this week's show. So I can bring that up. And what's cool is if later on you say, hey, I want to go shop and do that. If you don't shop today, because you could shop today in the carousel, uh, all the products we're going to talk about today are in this nice little convenient idea list. Yep, so that's really cool. All right. And then go back, Mark. Before you jump off of that thing, do you want to go back here? No, no, no. I want you up? to show where we do our show our videos. Oh, that's true. We have video that. So uh, let's see. Go back. So you know we're going to talk about a lot of inside cameras today. We're going to cover three of the brands that we really like and use here in our home. But if you want more detailed information, we've got a ton of reviews here, so you can go into more depth. And some of the things we're talking about today, we have both what first look videos, which are short, that just kind of highlight the different features of the, of the devices, or we have much longer reviews that really go through how it works, how to install it, what kind of the key things that you might want to um, find out more information there. So if you want to look at any of these in depth, you can go and find our videos there on our storefront page. You can also click on the live streams and see all our previous live streams, but you have to click this button in, or the, this spot in the upper right hand corner and then it'll show you all the different live streams we've done. So just keep that in mind. Now, if I don't mess up things, we're good. All right. All right. And then even the idea list can be sorted out. So you don't have to worry about, look at that page of, holy cow, look at this thing. It's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> uh, you can go ahead and hit those different buttons and, and kind of sort things out for yourself a little bit. All right. All right. And, you know, at any time you guys want to ask questions, go ahead and type those in the chat and we should see those. And uh, we'll make sure that we answer them here on screen. So uh, with that, uh, we're going to talk about today uh, three different brands of, of smart cameras that we use here in our house. And you can see them all down in the carousel. And depending whether you're watching this on your laptop or your desktop or your phone or your iPad or your tablet or your Android phone or wherever you're watching us today, the carousel of products is either going to be underneath us or it's going to be on the side. And uh, when we are talking about a specific camera, I will click that to highlight it so you'll know exactly what we're talking about. And uh, if you decide that you want to buy any of these products today, it would be great if you use these links. You don't need to use these links from the live. You can if you want. Uh, you could always go back to our page. But you know, buying from those links really helps us keep these live broadcasts going and helps keep us doing reviews. And it's no extra cost to you. So it's great. Um, and you can see, actually, the Casa camera's on sale today. Oh, is it really? Yeah, oh, I didn't really that. realize it that. It is on it sale is. today. Oh, that's a good deal because we're going to show that in a couple of seconds. We are going to show that. Now, if you joined us last week, we had intended to do a similar program talking about indoor cameras, but uh, our live setup wasn't really working. <laughs> so, yeah, we end up... We end up using my iPhone as the camera because that worked. It did work. Uh, so a little bit different. But um, today we're going to go through it and show yeah. all the cameras. Today we're going to go through it. And last week we actually unboxed this camera. This week we have it installed and running. It is the Casa 
2K security camera, also known as the Casa Spot. Yep, the box is right there here. Is the box. So you see, we have the box, but we don't have the camera because the camera is downstairs in our living room. So I'm going to show you something. So one of the things when we started doing the indoor cameras, which took us a while before you're we comfortable with it, was, hey, we should make it so that the cameras are off when we're home, so we can kind of like turn them off. And the way we do it is we have smart plugs, and uh, what we do is we turn the smart plugs on and off depending if we're home, and then that turns the camera on or off. So you don't plug. you have to hack the you have to hack the smart plug and the camera in order to see what's going on in our house. And if you're that good, enjoy yourself. Okay, so let's give it a go and see if it works. Well, Ready? so before you jump to that, Mark. Ooh. So, you know, did you really explain how that worked? What worked? You kind of went pretty fast, I think. Oh, okay. Well, well anyway, so... You uh, explained it then. Well, so the thing is, we were kind of nervous about having cameras in our house. It's one thing to have cameras outside looking at everybody else, but having cameras inside, it's a little weird. Uh, you know, and there's always those crazy stories about somebody hacking your camera and screaming at you or whatever. So we really wanted to be sure that when we're home, the cameras are off. And when we're gone, the cameras come on because we want to watch the house while we're gone, right? So the way we do it, and you can do it multiple different ways, uh, is that we use either a smart outlet or a smart plug. These smart plugs are super easy to use. These are some from TP-Link, a uh, Casa brand. Uh, they come in one plug or they come in many plugs but this is really easy because all you do is you plug your smart camera into the smart plug and then you can either turn that on manually or you can set a routine that turns it on or you can use our friend the amazon echo all right so let's see let's bring i'm gonna bring up my phone and let's see if i'm doing it right brought up the phone now if you look here there's two of our outdoor one the one camera on the top that you're seeing on the screen is the uh, Casa doorbell, and then the other one you're seeing is a Casa outdoor camera that we showed uh, last uh, couple weeks ago. And you'll notice it says the Casa spot is offline, but let's try something here. Alexa, inside camera's on. And she beeped. Now that means that she theoretically turned it on, and I heard a bunch of things clicking, which means I think the switches came on. Yeah, I think it worked, and I'm so sorry, we didn't have a trigger warning there for a trigger our warning? friend the echo so hopefully it didn't turn your cameras on oh, yeah. someone did that you know while we were watching some show or some we were watching technically speaking oh that's right and, and she turned uh, some of our stuff on it was kind of fun she's yeah, got she a great did. show by she the has way. a great show by the way it's on tuesdays at seven o'clock right i believe so yeah and she Tuesday talks like cameras and studio gear and stuff like that so we really love to watch yeah it. she's awesome she's just awesome now if you've noticed the last screen here which was the casa spot camera is now coming up you actually see a picture coming up on the screen, which is not the Casa Spot, by the way, it's the outdoor camera, but it's it's booting up, right? So we turned in the power, it's booting up, and now you get a picture of our living room. So it's really kind of cool, right? Because now I know that we're home and we turned them on. But if we're gone, we just tell the tell the lady to turn off the, off the uh, things and she would turn them off. But for the show, we have it on and you can see the camera is working over there. And so now what we can do is we can control it any way we want, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me let let me let me show everyone what it looks like first. I think that would probably be good. And let's see. Let's see. So we don't have the obviously we have the camera downstairs in our living room. So today we're not going to show you the cameras like physically. We're going to show you them in operation. So we're going to show you how they work on the phone. We do have the box. And if we have all of the specs, so if you're curious about all the different specs on these cameras, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one? Ooh, yes. Which one am I doing here? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not the right one. Oh, because we're live on this one here. That's why. Let me go back and um, get my phone back up. That's the wrong one. That's the phone, right? Mm hmm Okay, so. Yep, so what here. we've done is that we have our cameras all hooked up, and we have the boxes, like I said. So if you have questions about the specs... Uh, while we're showing you the apps that run these cameras, please let us know uh, and just go ahead and type them in on the chat. So this is a smart 2K security camera. It's got a four megapixel camera. Uh, that can get a little confusing these days. It's like how many megapixels, how many Ks. Uh, basically, this is a little nicer than HD. Um, your standard HD is 1080p, so it gives you a nice clear picture. That's still the wrong one. No, no. It wouldn't. Oh, are you just sorry? <laughs> Mark has a very fancy setup today. 
uh, as usual. So. so you just never know how good he's done here. <laughs> so he's trying to figure things out. So uh, keep going. No, keep going. So this is a really nice camera. Like I said, it's uh, got a four megapixel camera. This is a pan and tilt camera. So it's not just stationary. It will actually track motion or move around. It's got this really cool thing called patrol mode that I think Mark is going to show you. It does, um, out of the box, it does... It is, it's actually doing patrol mode now, if you look at the screen. In fact, I'll turn it sideways. I think this should work. And what you'll notice is the camera is actually going side to side. Every minute, it changes to a new scene. So you can see that up at the top. It says on patrol, and that's, a, that's something that you can set up. Uh, it doesn't necessarily come on automatically, but that's a mode you can set up, which is great when you're not home. It does a person, motion, and sound detection. Uh, which is great. So the sound detection is nice if you want to use this like as a baby monitor. It can detect sounds. Um, it's, well, let's see what else does it do. It has two-way audio so you can talk and hear on it, uh, which is great. Uh, it's got night vision with starlight, which means that um, it, uh, it's it means, easy to see. <laughs> so it means it'll do color at night if there's some light in the room. But so here, so here's the camera itself, right? So oh, that's there it. Is. And uh, this is just a still, so it's not going to move in the picture here. But that's a still. We just put it on our mantle, and the camera is real cute, and it just rotates around. You have to plug it in. It's got the USB connection, uh, so we just plug it into the wall and do a smart outlet, as you as you saw at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, kind of give you an idea what's what's going on there. And uh, let me let me bring it back to uh, the screen here, and we'll cut over here. So now it's going on patrol. And as you can see, it's a really good picture, right? It's really clear. Uh, it's a 2K camera, which really makes a big difference. You know, when you're looking at these cameras, everyone's moving from 1080p to 2K, and uh, that just really gives you a much crisper picture. And um, you can see here, it's pretty nice. Now, what I can do here, which is kind of interesting, I don't know if it'll let me do it without turning off patrol mode. So let's see. Yep, yep, you've got to have your patrol mode turned off. So I'm going to go in here. Then I go to the settings, and somewhere in here is patrol mode. And I'm going to turn off patrol mode. This patrol mode is something where you're not home and you want it to be scanning to see if something's going on. And what's neat about this patrol mode is that you can customize it. You can put in certain viewpoints, and you can tell it how often you want it to move from point to point. Yeah, so there's actually four viewpoints you can have. So I've got three of them set, and you can see. Um, but yeah, so if you want to move the camera, you can just hit this thing here. And you see I'm able to move it. And I can move it sideways. I can move it up if I want. See? And it's pretty neat, right? Now, what's really cool about this is, and I'm going to go back to the beginning here, um, I can look at activity. And I'm going to look on the 13th. And on the 13th, I did a little recording. And you can filter, by the way. You can come in here. You can say filter. Oh, our blinds just opened up. And I don't want to open. So hold on. Close that again. Um, I can say I only want to see things from the CASA spot. And now only the CASA spot stuff's there. And go back to the 13th. And now what you can do is you can watch me. Is This is at night. So I did this two nights ago. Oh, two, yeah, good idea. Turn it sideways. And what's going to happen is oh. it's going to show. Oh, that didn't help any, did it? You know why? Because I did it too soon. Now I've done it. Look at this. doesn't like that. That's weird. Nope. Uh-oh. Well, I just upset the CASA camera. That's, that's great. <laughs> it's a live demo. So where were we? We were at the 13th, right? And I think we've got this guy here. And we'll let it play. Will, will it work this time? Yeah, there we go. There it goes. So now you're looking at it. You see I come into the camera view. You notice the camera automatically, because he's in patrol mode at night, he automatically found me. Oh, i got to lose some weight. Look at that. I better start, stop eating all those uh, chips. All right, so but watch it. It's going to follow me, and it's not only following me side to side, but look at it changes the height because it's it's a pan and tilt camera, right? So it pans side to side and tilts up and down, and it catches me all the way around back into the kitchen, and it's still figuring out where I'm at. And it's, the picture is still fairly decent, although you know you're starting to fade out at that point. And then that's it. That's the that's the deal. So it's pretty cool. I mean, I think this whole idea of being able to follow you motion, what they call motion tracking. And it picked me up as a person detection. If you look at the middle uh, screen here, um, 
it says CASA spot person detection. So the one thing that CASA does, it identifies, is it just motion? Is it a person? It'll kind of identify that in the uh, different things. So that's, that's the biggest part of the camera, right, as far as you do it. And you've got all sorts of options. And, of course, in the CASA app, we've got all the cameras. So you can get to any one of the ones you want. Um, I think that's it. Let's put it back in patrol mode, though, while we're upstairs, because we don't know if someone's going to come in downstairs. So <laughs> let's see. Where is that? Patrol mode. Turn it back on. It seems happy. And there we go. And now we have our camera back in patrol mode, doing its patrolling in the house. Yeah. Okay. I think, you know, maybe we covered most of the stuff here. So if you're just joining us, we're talking about the CASA Spot or the Smart 2K security camera. And Mark just kind of walked us through the app and showed us how it works at night. Um, so let's see, I just want to see if we missed anything here. Well, I think that you know, one thing I did, I actually subscribed to their cloud service. Uh, yeah, which is called Casa Care. Casa Care. And uh, it's kind of nice. So, But it does come with an SD card. So you can put an SD card in. I actually haven't put the SD card in yet because I think I'm out of SD cards. <laughs> um, but you can put up to a 256 gigabyte SD card. So you don't have to get their cloud service. I did. It's not very expensive. Uh, and it, you know, it allows you to keep the clips really long. So it's really, it's really nice. And is there any special thing you want to bring up about the Casa Care? What do you get that's so uh, great about getting it? Why, why did I turn it on? Well, you get 30 days you know, of video 30 history. days of history. That's a, that's a big deal if you want to get it back. To and it. you can share your videos with someone else. Yeah, I think that's a big, that's a big one, right? So, uh, yep. So kind of some features, but in the app, you can go in the app and you can bring up the cloud services. And it applies, by the way, to all the cameras in your house. And so you can say, I want the certain cameras to be, um, I want certain cameras to be in the plan, and certain cameras not to be in the plan. So it's really up to you. Uh, so that's what we did. Is we test these things out. So it's kind of nice to have the, the longer time because if you do something like two nights ago when I did the recording of me walking around the living room in the dark, um, it was kind of nice to not worry about that that video going away. Right. So. Yep. All right. That's nice. <clears throat> okay. All right. So. Uh, if you're just joining us, thank you so much for joining. And uh, we're talking about indoor cameras today. So we just covered the CASA 2K smart camera or the CASA spot, it's called. Now it's a pan and tilt camera right here. Here's the box. And we just showed you the app. Um, but now we're going to move on to our next set of cameras. They're from Wise. Let's move oh, look at this. Over here. Okay, so the one's from Wise. So I'm going to do something here. I'm going to go put my WISE camera up there. So let's see, the iPhone. I think if I do this correctly, it should come up. Okay. <clears throat> so what you're looking at right now is actually on the WISE app. I have a grouping here called Inside Cameras and Outside Cameras so that we can control them and turn them on and off. All right. And so since we told the lady over here to turn them on, they're all on. So these are our inside cameras. And you can see we've got some... Wise Cam Pan V1s, we got the Wise Cam version 2, uh, but we also have the Wise Cam Pan uh, V2, and we have the Wise th version 3. And I think we're going to talk first about the version 3. We're going to talk first about the Wise Cam version 3. So, this is the latest version of their very popular smart camera. Uh, it's this one is uh, we're talking about it for indoors, but actually, you can also use this outdoors, but it does have to be connected to power. It does. It's not operated by a battery. Is there anything secret in my office that we don't people to no, see? No, no. It looks but a little messy. But. It does look messy, but I'll tell you, I like the picture because you see the windows open in there. The, the, the blinds are open in my office, and it's not washing out the picture, yeah. which is really kind of good. And you can see everything on my desk. Uh, I don't think I've left anything out. It's clumsy looking. Uh, but you can see it's a lot of stuff. And the fortunately, I don't have it pointing down, so you can't see what's on the little table. All kind of a collection of stuff. But it's, got a, it's a great camera. It does a great job uh, for, for this thing. Now, the one thing it, that I didn't do is I didn't take uh, a video of the nighttime. Well, why don't you show I where it show is it. in your office? Oh, that's a good so idea. So you can see what it looks like. Cause, uh, and well, i got to get the box. Oh, yeah, don't forget the box. It's right behind you. Of course, these boxes are pretty small. Let's see. Okay. This is the box it comes in. It's really small. Yep. No but, waste. But there it is. That's the camera. So behind it is a uh, an Apple HomePod, the full size, and um, it's on a little shelf in the corner. So if you saw what it was looking at, that's the camera. But it's cute. It's a little guy. Yeah, it gives and, you a um, sense of how small this thing really is. And, and so it comes, these packages are always so small from, from it's life. It's got a lot of features packed in that tiny little cube. 
And this camera actually is uh, waterproof as well, so um, you can use it indoors or out. I happen to use an office to check. I'll be honest with you, the biggest thing I check in my office on is that I remember to shut my computer down at night. <laughs> but aside from that, but it is very nice. And then the other thing you can do is, if I come over here, uh, see at night, now you're looking at my office at the nighttime. Matter of fact, let me turn off the uh, picture in a picture for a second. But you get a good feel. It's a great picture at night, really crystal clear. Uh, if I had a little bit of light in the room, you would actually uh, see it in color. But um, I don't, so that's this is really a dark room, and it's totally using its IR lights to do it. So it's pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice camera. Re really like it. You know, we have the the Wise Cam. Actually, we have the V ones and the V twos um, that look similar to these. This one here, uh, but the this one's by far a better camera. Yeah. Uh, it is only 1080p though, if I recall right. Yeah, it is 1080p. Yeah. yeah. And it does have an SD card slot, so you can record local local to the SD card. Um, but they also have some. What's it called? Uh, uh, Cam Plus. Is that yeah, they have called? a feature called Wise Cam Plus. And if you're going to use Wise Cams anywhere where you're going to get a lot of motion, we really suggest you get the Cam Plus because that adds the person, pet, vehicle, and uh, they have, what's the other detection they have? Oh, they got like a person, package, pet, and vehicle. Now, hopefully, no cars are going to drive into Mark's office, but you never know. Uh, so it really, if you have all those. If you have that artificial intelligence, it really reduces the amount of false alarms you get. Because where, it, you know, if you just use plain motion detection, sometimes the lights coming on and off can trigger it, or leaves, or wind blowing, maybe the curtains move, who knows. So it's much better if you're going to use these to get the Cam Plus, and it, you know, it's, it really makes it uh, easier on you instead of getting a zillion notifications on your phone. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else does this thing have? Well, I think that, that's the biggest it thing. It has two-way audio. Yeah. And yep. well, we, I think we've covered all of yep. this stuff. So yep. right. do you want to show the app on the phone? Well, or are we moving on to the next one? We're going to move on to the wise oh, we're cam, moving, cam. Oh, you didn't tell me you were ready to move I'm on I'm moving on, one. so you've got to press that button on the product. All right. right. So, yep. So this the next one we're going to show you is the wise cam pan. Now, this is the second edition of their wise cam pan. Um, so we're going to show you it running in our living room. And the cool thing is, oh, is there's Mr. Penguin. I have this in patrol mode as well. They don't, I don't think they call it patrol mode, but they have the scan mode. In the scan mode, this one's different. The other one um, on the on the Casa one, you, you set patrol points and it, it moves to those points after a minute. This one here does a continuous back and forth scan. And you can see it's going all the way around, even catches the window. And it's a pretty good picture. But again, this is a 1080p camera. This is their version 2 model. Um, it's almost identical to the version 1, except a couple of items like color night vision. Yeah, a little bit improved. <clears throat> a little bit uh, improved. Camera, uh, color night vision. Okay. This The scanning is just absolutely fabulous with it. As you can see, you get a good view um, of this thing here. Now, the other thing I can do is I can come into the app, and I can say, let's look at events. Go back to the 13th. I think it's already there, right? And now what I can do is I can take a look at what happens at night with this camera. Again, hardly any lights, and I'll put it this way again. And you see it catches me. And it's scanning all the way around. But look how good that picture. When that stopped, the picture is really good. But it's tracking me the whole way, all the way into the kitchen. With that reflection on your eyes, it looks a little scary. Well, I was scary that night. I was trying to be, you know, <laughs> trying to be somewhat bad. So, um, but you can see it picks everything up pretty well. And there it goes to pick me up again. And now it's still following. So, this camera does a great job. This, this, this scanning function is good. I'm going to disappear and then the video should end. So, and then it goes back into its patrol mode again. So, it's looking for me, I think. Yeah, scanning mode. Yeah, they call scanning it on mode. This one. Yep. Do you have a picture of the color night vision? I don't think I did a color night vision in this one here, so we're out of luck there. <laughs> Sorry. Because wow. that <clears throat> is a great feature of this one. Yeah, well, we showed that on the uh, outdoor camera um, a couple of weeks ago. I think the, the thing with a, with a color night vision, just to keep in mind, is you do have to have some light. So, like, when I did that recording there, I didn't worry about, you know, the... Uh, <clears throat> I didn't worry about the... Uh, the... Uh, um, doing the night with color. I guess I should have done that. 
but I didn't. Well, it so, but I can tell you the night vision color looks good, but I gotta tell you, I tend to find that the color night vision is great, but the you know the, the black and white or the the IR version is much more powerful if you're really trying to figure out what's going on, right? The other one looks good, but it makes it nice when you have the IR because you can see everything. As you notice, it was dark in the house and you can still see everything, so it's pretty cool. So, so those are the Wise cameras. So you can get the Wise Cam uh, V3 or the Wise Cam Pan V2. You can buy them separately. Looks like the Wise Cam Pan's on sale today. Or you can get a bundle. So I'll show you this bundle here in the carousel. You can get both of them together as a bundle. And we also have one of these Wise plugs. So the same thing that we did uh, that we showed you at the beginning where we set up a routine where we have the camera plugged into the smart <coughs> plug. You could do this with a Wise plug. You can do it actually with any plug. It doesn't have to be the same brand. Any uh, smart plug will but do The nice it. thing is because Wise has the smart plugs and the Wise has kind of got its own app, it's nice to get the Wise plug, right? Because then it's all within their app. So if you're looking through on their app, let me go back to home, you see you got all the cameras, the, the outdoor plugs, uh, whatever, the security system and, and so forth, even our vacuum cleaner, Sebastian, and uh, all sorts of stuff. But you see now I've got... The ability I can turn the range hood on in the kitchen because I have the thing plugged in above the range hood where the plug is for the, the, the fan and the lights. And now we can just ask this lady over here to turn it on and off, which is really kind of nice. Yeah. Right? So Wise has a pretty big ecosystem of different kinds of products, including some interesting ones like scales and headphones and robot vacuums. Um, so, you know, if this is some, if uh, you're looking for kind of one app to do a lot of different things around your house, Wise is a good choice. All right. So what have we done through so far? We did the Casa. Now, so far we've covered the Casa so Spot. Let's see. Let's see. Is, it, is the spot still looking? Let's take a look here. Let me bring up the, uh, let me bring it back up again. Okay. Is it still patrolling? Well, I can see it says on patrol. I guess, can you see on patrol if I rotate it? I don't know. Yeah. And the top you can see it says on, on patrol. So it's working. This is doing its thing. Are we going backwards? Well, I just wanted to kind of recap a little bit if anybody joined late or whatever else. And um, the other thing we went over was Wise. So there's a bunch of things on Wise. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, let me bring up inside cameras again. And uh, if you look, there's the inside camera, the cam pan. And see, it's, it's scanning away. It's still doing its thing, scanning did throughout the living room. Did you show a picture of what the Wise cam pan looks like? I don't know if I did that, but let me do that. I can make that happen. So let's see. What does it say on the screen here? It says Wise cam pan number one. All right, here we go. So that's the Wise campaign. That's what it looks like. And I got a cute, I think this picture is cuter. I guess I'd like to know from the audience, which picture do you like? Number one here or number two? Which is cuter? I feel like I'm at the eye doctor. One. One or two. Or two. One or two. Yeah, you got to put it like the that's eye doctor. True. I often wondered about that. I think I like two. You like two. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's good. That's good. Now, let me see now. Can I get my phone back into the into the mix here? Let's see. Yep, I'm there. Okay, so you see he's panning. You see the other things that are all automatically. Look, there's us in the old Wisecam version too. Hi, everybody. And then uh, the one in my office, the Wisecam V3. So definitely worth getting the Wisecam V3. All right. We have so a lot of Wisecam. A lot of stuff in these things. All right, so let's go back. All right, so if you're just joining us today, we're talking about indoor cameras. So, so far we've covered um, a new camera from Casa called the Casa Spot. And we also just talked about the Wise Cam V3 and the Wise Cam Pan V2. So that's the third edition and the second edition of these cameras. So now we're going to move on talk about something different. Now for something completely different, the Eufy cameras. All right, so let's bring that phone back up show you the app are actually we, you know what before we, we show the, the garage app, one first no we're gonna do the uh, thing I'll show I'll show you okay. here guys so hold on I'll show everybody so this is the Eufy app and we have two other devices we have on the top the garage door opener which we're gonna cover last here in the show and we also have the courtyard Eufy indoor cam it's called the solo let me grab the box for that this is the solo camera We'll get the other one too. Nope, you want the other one. Both at the same well, time. Both the boxes. All right, here we go. Here we go. So, what you're looking at on the screen is the Eufy's app, 
and both are here and I can press this button here it's big. and that's the indoor cam which is kind of cool it's a pretty good picture now remember this is not not outdoors is it? it's indoors oh I know it's indoors but it's looking outdoors just to confuse you yes because we have so many of our cameras in our house that we said you know why don't we put one inside the this house the looking out to see what's going on so I actually have motion detection turned off on this camera because uh, it's like it's just there for us to look you know someone comes to the door and I want to see a different angle of them I can do that with this camera but as you can see the colors are very clear uh, very rich and it uh, works really well and again so this is important here so this is the Eufy solo cam it's a 2k camera but we have this thing hooked up with Apple HomeKit so I'm going to show you Apple HomeKit for a second here and this is you'll see why this is the case and if you look at Apple HomeKit you notice on here, I don't know if anybody's seen the iOS 16 version of HomeKit, but it's pretty nice. And it actually shows your cameras. So this camera is in HomeKit. When you attach this camera currently to HomeKit, the camera has to go into 1080p mode because that's required by Apple, not by Eufy. So it's a 2K camera. If you only use the Eufy app, it'll be 2K. But as soon as you in install it into HomeKit, it drops down to, to 1080p. But as you can see, it's still a pretty good picture. And of course, I can bring this up in the... Um, oh, you oh, can hear it. It hears us. It's listening. That's cool. <laughs> good. I guess I shouldn't talk too loud. You hear it echoing? It's because it's right downstairs. Anyway, so I'm not going to go... Well, we'll go through a lot more on that. But you can you can scrub through and see things. So there's a night look of the night. You see Valerie coming in. But that's the night look. And the nice thing about the home is you can really get to things really well. So that kind of give you an idea what that looks like, but let's go out of here for a second. And the neat thing about using these cameras with HomeKit is that you can use a, you know, you can use this Eufy one. There's other HomeKit cameras. There's a lot of other HomeKit compatible devices. So you don't have to stick with one brand to have everything just in that one home app. And you know, Apple, um, Apple was a little slow to the smart home game, but they're catching up pretty fast and uh, they're making some real progress. So it's really nice to see. Now the other thing in this app is you can you can uh, turn the microphone on to speak with. However, our microphone in the studio evidently is pretty pretty sensitive because it heard from all the way downstairs because <laughs> I have the sound off on my phone. Um, but you can you can record, you can take a screenshot, you can set an alarm, which by the way I'm not going to do. Um, and um, you can also do what's called auto night vision. So uh, all those things are there. You can turn on and off, and of course you can do all the settings. Now. Let's see, let's go back to you and me. Why is my laptop deciding to go to sleep all the time? All right, so let's see, let's get back online here. Did you show the picture of I'm where show this a picture. is? I'm gonna show a picture here in a second. So let's take a look where it's at. So you see it's sitting here in our little side window in our, in our front door. And you can see it. It's got an SD card slot on the side that you can you can plug in for a local recording. Uh, just plugged in the USB. I've got it into a little outlet on the side. And then uh, just to give an idea, this is what it's looking at out the door. A little bit different angle to it, but uh, basically it's the thing you see live. So if I'm if I'm watching live, it's it's live. So uh, matter of fact, let's go back. I can. Uh, so that's kind of how that camera operates. So it's pretty nice. Yep. And then there's a third thing though that I want to show, right? I think we wanted to show uh, this thing right here. Yeah, so in this addition cool. to, to, since this is a HomeKit camera, you can look at it uh, on your phone in the Apple Home app, or you, if you have an Apple TV, you can actually see your cameras right on your Apple TV, which is pretty neat. And I think we put the Apple TV in the carousel. And we did put the Apple TV in the carousel. This is the Apple TV 4K. Now, it will also work with an Apple HomePod Mini, so if you have one of those, that'll actually make it work as well. But obviously, if you have an Apple TV, and like we do, plugged in, you can bring it up. The little kind of remote from Apple's great. You just double click on it, brings up a sidebar that comes up. You can look at all your home kit stuff and the camera. So if the doorbell rings and you want to see who's there, if that's where you happen to be where the camera's pointing, uh, boom, you can bring it right up in your television. Yeah. Which is really nice. That's really nice. Okay. So what else do we got to show us? I think that's pretty, I think that does it right. It's, yeah, uh, it's, um, now what's different about the Eufy cameras, uh, versus the other two cameras we saw is that they don't have any cloud subscription required. Uh, so this one uses an SD card, stores everything, stores everything there on the camera. Uh, and you don't need to buy a separate plan to get the features. And they've got, 
uh, what they instead of person detection call it human detection. Yeah. So if any aliens uh, come in view of the camera, it won't work. So um, oh, we have a question, Joseph Paloma. Hi, Joe. So let's see. If you're using the camera to monitor the room. Will a dog bark activate a notice to the cell phone? Well, let's see something a second. It does here. have pet AI. So, audio settings. Let's see if it's at speaker, audio recording. No. Because uh, some of these things have oh, sound detection. You see that? Can, uh, let me bring it up on, my, on the phone here. Hold on a second. Let's see. Oh, pet That's, command. I wonder what that is. What's that? It says pet command. Well, so here's the here's the thing, and in, in the settings there is a sound detection, so you can do sound detection, and then pet. I wonder what that is. Well, I'll have to I'll have to tell you that's kind of interesting. So what Let's is that? This is. Oh, can't do pet detection because I turned on HomeKit. Oh, that's weird. All right, but when a pet is detected in the activity zone, your camera will play a command audio automatically. Oh, that's cool. So you can like record an audio. <laughs> And then if your dog comes in there and barks, you can say, hey, stop barking. Or, well, that's pretty or no, I didn't leave you any food out while we're gone. <laughs> which, which is it you're going to be having happen. So, so the answer is, yeah, you can do that. You know, we didn't mention that in the other cameras, but a lot of the cameras now do have a sound detection as well. We tend to not turn that on, but that is kind of nice. And yeah, we don't so, have pets, so we haven't played with this. So that's pretty neat. Thank yeah. you for your question, Joseph. All right, so that's pretty cool. But so just to be clear, you can do this with the Eufy camera, but you have to use the Eufy app. You can't use it with HomeKit like we were just sharing, showing. Yep. So that's pretty neat. Okay. So, so I think that's a lot. We went, kind of went through the uh, the thing with Eufy Solo. It is not compatible with their what they call their home base or home base two. Just so you guys know, um, it's 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 uh, not available for that. Okay. So now, what else do we have? Well, I think. It's our last thing here. We're going to show you the Eufy Security Garage. Yeah, this is this thing is really cool. Right. If you're just joining us, we're talking about indoor cameras. So, so far we talked about the Casa Spot 2K indoor security camera. And then we showed you a couple of cameras from Wise, the Wise Cam B3 and the Wise Cam Pan version 2. And we just showed the Eufy Solo Cam. And now we're going to show something a little different. It's actually a camera that does many things. All right. More than one thing. More than one. This is this thing is really it's, a, it's the latest toy we've been kind of playing with the we review. We just got this and if you joined us last week we actually unboxed this on the air. Um, but today it's installed. It's the Eufy all-in-one garage control but security it's, it's, garage control cam plus. It's the key is the word plus. <laughs> It'll handle, actually handle two garage doors. It only comes with one sensor, though. Now, uh, that's the only difference here is that only one uh, garage sensor. If you look in the picture on the carousel, you see the, the device itself and a little white thing on the, on the next to it. That sensor you put on the garage door, and then so I'm going to show you that in a second. So this is a camera with a garage door opener built in, or a garage door opener with a camera built in. So now we're going to do another eye test. So this is picture number one. So what you're looking at is our garage door opener, and you can see on that the device is actually magnetically attached to the bottom of the garage door opener, which is so cool. And then they give you about 3,000 feet. Now I'm just kidding you. They give you a really long cord to connect that up to the back of your your uh, garage door opener, where you just kind of put it in like you're putting in a remote, and it then is connected up, and then you just have to power it up. You have to plug it in, of course. But that's number one, and then here's uh, it's version a number two. Version. Now I have to tell you, I, it, it's um. It's kind of nice. It's, I think of it, it's a USB-C, I think, uh, connection. But anyway, you've got it plugged in. It does have to be powered up. And you can see all the cords are sitting there because I hooked it up and I didn't want to cut the wire because they give you the really long piece of wire uh, to go off and hook it up. In case you don't want to put the door opener there or the unit there, you can put it elsewhere in the garage. But if you look closely at it, let me go back to picture one, that black little rectangle on the, on the, on the base is actually a camera. So this thing actually has a camera. And so now watch, I'm going to bring you over to my phone. Okay, back to the phone. And what you're looking at is the two devices again, Eufy garage door opener, that's what I called it. And you can see the picture here. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the button. And you're looking in our garage live. So this is a live shot inside the garage. I can actually do it sideways. There's so our cars. Little, there's our two cars, they're still there. 
that's good bike racks on you can see the uh, Beehive XR uh, sprinkler controller there. Um, but you know, that's I'm, a neat feature too, because it also shows you the strength of your Wi-Fi signal. So oh yeah. If you've ever used cameras around your house, or especially uh, in the perimeter or outside, it's good to know your Wi-Fi strength so that you know that it's going to work. Oh, hey, I didn't tell you, but I um, I tried the alarm. Oh, don't do it. It now. it goes for thirty seconds. You can't stop it. Oh. It's minimum 30 seconds. You could set it for longer. I mean, it is insane. It's really too much. It also uh, has a mode where, and you can adjust this, you can actually have it beep and make noise uh, whenever the garage door is opened or closed. So if you're worried about safety, that's a great little feature that they have in the camera. Uh, but it's pretty neat. Now I can just press this little button here, and hopefully everything works, and boom, the garage is this opening. This is live. Our live at our garage door. Now, we've been using these smart garage door things for a long time. It's like the best thing ever. If you've ever driven away from your house, you get, you know, down, maybe just get down the street, or maybe you get a little bit farther away, and you turn to your other half, and you say, did you close the garage door? I don't know. And, you know, it used to be in the olden days that we'd have to drive, you know, turn around, drive home to make sure we close the garage door. But with a smart garage door opener, you actually get a notification on your phone or on your watch or you can actually go and check it and we get by the way i have my notifications turned off for the show but you you do get a notification say mark open the door mark close the door so yeah which is great so then you actually know if you open you know if you close the door or not and then it you know if your door is open and shouldn't be open you know that too which is really great well you know the other thing is interesting is that um the, the, the reason I like the camera, and there's a couple things. One is it is a motion sensor, so if someone had walked in front of the camera, we would get an alert that someone's there. So if you have the garage door open and then someone shows up and comes comes to the garage, you will get notified of that. Um, the other thing you'll notice on here when I close the garage door is it's kind of washed out looking. And the reason why it's washed out looking is the lights from the uh, garage door opener are there. As a matter of fact, I think I can switch this real quick. See how that is? See where it's located? And there's a light bulb right above it. And as long as that light bulb is out on, it, it kind of washes it out. I, I want to play with that a little bit later on. Uh, maybe move the thing backwards on the thing so that it's not getting the light in its eye. Uh, but when the light goes off, of course, the uh, the picture will immediately clear up, which is something I've noticed with the thing. Um, the other thing is, I don't know if can I zoom this? Oh, I can. Oh, look, there it is. I can see it. You see that little white dot? I'm, I'm gonna move the move the camera. You can see the little white dot on the on the straight on the on the left side, right? Uh, that is the little white thing you see in the picture. If you can see the alternate one, yeah. And basically, that's the tilt sensor. So you have to put that on the door in the top panel, and then it communicates with that device. It has a little battery in it, and um, that's how it knows that the garage is opened or closed, or whatever else. As a matter of fact, if we open it up with another device like the button on the wall or whatever else, the UFI um, security uh, control will actually notice that as well. So it's not like you can't use your other stuff. It'll, it'll know what's going on. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool, pretty easy to use. It's really neat. And, but you know, the, like I said, we've been using these smart garage door openers for a long time and they are really reliable for the most part. But every now and then you get this weird alert that says your garage door is open. You're like, I'm not sure if it's really open or if it's really closed. And if you're away from home, you're really nervous about it, or you're concerned, you can. We actually put a camera in there so we could check and make sure that it really was closed or open, or open or closed. Uh, but this is great because it's all in one. You've got the camera and you've got the garage door opener right there. Yeah, it's pretty. I, that is that part is kind of neat, right? And it's pretty neat. So, um, so let's take a look at something else here because I guess everyone probably wants to know what it looks like at night. So let me uh, go September 13th and the garage door opened by Mark. Okay, we're going to put this on. All right, put this on. Let's see, do it this way. Oh, this, this is, this a, is nighttime. a nighttime picture. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm telling it to open the door, right? So you can see how it looks. And again, that wash up. But this is at night now. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool, right? And then... Let's take a look at a different picture. The one that's closing. So now I'm going to close it. And you see, it's coming down. So as you saw in the other one, before the lights came on, it was a very clear picture in the garage at night. And now when I'm closing it, it looks pretty much like it does right, right in the daytime. So it's very clear, very easy to see. 
I love this thing. It's really cool because we don't have to have the secondary camera. Now, knowing us, we'll probably leave the other camera still in the garage. <laughs> but um, we can never have too many. You never have too devices. many smart devices, exactly. So uh, that's kind of give you an idea. But it's great. I mean, uh, you everything's in one spot. You know, the garage door is opened or closed. You can open or close it. You uh, get video recordings. You can look at the camera live. Um, it's just a great little feature. Um, and let's see, go back to devices, back to the garage, and just be able to look at it. Now, the other thing is, and uh, actually it looks cute when it's open. Um, you notice it says garage door number two, and that's because this model that we have here can actually support two garage doors. So if you're a home with two doors, that's not a problem, but you do have to pick up the other device, the one of the right here. Mm -hmm. You have to pick up another one of those sensors I showed you that was attached to the top panel of the door. And then they give you both bundles of wire so you can easily reach, you know, uh, whatever you need to on, on hooking that second one up. So all the wiring's there. You got the sensors. Uh, it's great. And you just have to pick up that. It's not that expensive for the second sensor if you happen to have two doors. And it just works the same way. And then what they tell you to do is mount it between the doors or uh, the, the unit mount it between the doors. So maybe on the ceiling. And they do give you a metal a magnetic plate or a metal plate, it's not magnetic, the, the unit is. Uh, you can put the mag, uh, the plate into the um, into the thing, and um, I, I just turned auto night vision off, and then I turn it back on again. It's dark. Yep, yeah. see the difference? If you don't put it on, it's an auto night vision. Oh. So, um, where was, oh, so you put the little plate up on the wall, they give you all the screws you need and the mollies, and then you can attach the, the, uh, the camera onto that, and it reaches then to both garage door openers. And that's why they give you so much wire because you have to go from that unit to each of the garage door openers for it to operate. So, and then, like I said, it has the alarm, the sound, and uh, and you have all sorts of settings in here, which is kind of cool. You got door settings, motion settings. Um, it actually, um, I, I, something I learned the other day. I, I was luckily going, like, this doesn't give us a notification if we left the door open, right? Because where we live, if you leave the door open for more than 15 minutes. The uh, HOA comes by and yells at you. So, um, in here, you can come into the garage door settings and you can actually put in there a door schedule. And I put a schedule in there that says, hey, if the door is open for 15 minutes or 10 minutes, rather, um, send me, a, send me a, an email that says, hey, or a notification, rather, that says, hey, you left your garage door open. And that's kind of nice because we, we have that another model that we got. Wow. And it's great. One time we forgot to cr close our garage door and we got a phone call at midnight, midnight from the HOA telling us to close the garage door, which I guess is kind of nice, but I'd rather have gotten a notification on the phone <laughs> before midnight. Yeah, that would have been, <laughs> been useful. So so it, it's a great little a great little device. Let me go back to the picture of it. I like the picture of it. We just, we didn't, we never, no one say it said. Oh, Joe has another question. Oh. If you have two garage doors, can you activate them separately? The answer is yes. No, so let's go back to the beginning. Let's see. Alrighty, go back to the beginning. So you see on the left, you got garage door on the left, and then you have one called garage door number two, the little plus sign. Well, if you put this, if you get the second sensor, which you see on the screen right now, um, and you attach it to this thing here, to the door on the second door, and then you wire the thing into the garage door open for the second door, yeah, you can control them both independently. So each button works independent so you can open one door or the other if you want to open both you have to press both and so. you can change the settings for each one so yeah notifications and no, i don't know if you i don't know if the notifications are uh, associated with a specific door um, the there's a general settings that you have here that goes with the whole thing but the door settings themselves you can come in here and you've got the calibration you'll do that during setup which is really easy um, and then you have this door schedule. The door schedule, I think, is the only thing that's uh, that's different on each device that, I, that I've seen. Now we don't have two doors, so you know I can't tell you for sure, but I'm pretty sure if you're looking at notification, then you're gonna you're gonna get it whichever door opens or whatever else. I don't, I don't, it'll probably tell you door one opened or door two opened or whatever else. And but you can see at the top human or other motions. What's other motions? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I guess if uh, leaves are blowing out in your driveway, you might you might find it if you have it on. But you can turn that off, so it's only doing human detection too. So, um, oh, it does. It actually, this is actually interesting. So, 
they actually, when you get a motion detection or whatever else, it'll actually send you a thumbnail and a notification so you actually can see a picture of what you're looking at. Oh, that's Which is neat. really kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, you can turn that off. You can make it efficient uh, if you want. And uh, and then you have all these alert tones. So it's pretty cool. So it's pretty, pretty Can you decent talk to it too? You can talk to it, yeah. Let's go back to the beginning here. They got the microphone. You can sit there and go, hey, what are you doing? And then it's going to, oh, it gave me a smiley face. Did you see that one? Yeah. Smiley face comes up. So, yeah, you can talk to it. It's two-way talk, so not a problem. Again, I mentioned the alarm goes on for 30 seconds or more. <laughs> well, That's Joe crazy. says this would be a great Christmas gift for your favorite brother. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> well, does, does his favorite brother have one or two garage doors? That's a good question. I thought you just had one, but maybe uh, you have two. Uh, yeah. Christmas gift. Oh. Huh. What do you... <laughs> Well, what are you going to get me? I think that's probably the bigger question. So, um, yeah, so yeah, that would be a great. Uh, I don't. What was the? How was the pricing of that? That the, the little extra sensor is not too bad, and uh, oh, that's not bad. That's yeah, a pretty decent yeah, price. So that's that's, a that's good pretty price good for, a gift for what it does. You figure add the two together, it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. We and can, the really nice thing if you give this as a gift is you don't have to buy any extra cloud plans for storage. So yeah, so that's kind of nice too. All right, so anything else? Any other questions? You got any other questions since you seem to be quite interested in this garage door opener? <laughs> Do you have metal garage door? Well, it doesn't matter. You have two doors, I'm assuming. Well, is the other true? thing you have to be careful about, too, is that um, <laughs> make sure your garage door is compatible before you buy this because it generally works with most garage doors that are built after 1993. Actually, I think it says 1993 and after. Yes, yeah, compatible after 1993. Yeah, and you have um, to have a safety sensor. That's the thing where if you, the door is closing and you walk in through the door, it, it'll shut it off and re reverse it. Yeah, so. so you can always check to make sure that your garage is compatible before you buy. But in general, if it's after 1993, it's good. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is a really good product. It's pretty neat. I think uh, I have to put the picture back up. I, it's great. I mean, it's just, and you haven't decided whether you like product number one or two. So... Um, like I said, I like one. To hook up, yeah. So is that you, one or two? This is uh, this is number one, and that's number two. I like number one. Better. Yeah, because all the wires hang all over the place. <laughs> but nice if you are hooking up a second door, that group, the bundle of wire, there's a second bundle of wires they give you. It's actually in this box. You don't have to worry about it, and you would have to run that to the other garage door opener. The other thing is, I think the way this operates, as you can see, it looks straight down the middle of our door. Um, you would probably have to mount the metal plate onto the ceiling between the two openers so that you can get a view of both garage doors. That would be my guess. And um, But the, they give you plenty of wire to reach the garage door opener to hook it up. So it's not a problem. Oh, that's great. It was pretty easy to install. I think the hardest part was they have, you don't need any tools to do it. So they have these push button things that you put the wires into. And frankly, it's if you got fat fingers, it's a little more difficult. Just use a little screwdriver or some pointy thing and push them in, and you can put the wires in. So it was really easy to install. Yeah. Not, a, not a problem right. at all. Okay. Okay, so, so we're kind of getting down to the end here. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a few more minutes left. So if you have any other questions, please make sure to type them in on the chat. But uh, why don't we go ahead and review everything we looked at today, Mark? We, we looked a lot of things. We, we did. We looked well, a lot of see, things. Let's see. What did we get? So we, we uh, just talked about the Eufy Security Garage Cam Plus, okay. and that is a camera with a garage door opener, smart garage door opener built in. Yeah, and by the way, it doesn't, it's, it currently it doesn't work with HomeKit, if you're wondering. All right. This is the Eufy Solo Cam, and that does work with HomeKit, so that's an individual little uh, Right, so if you're an Apple camera. user, this is a great little camera to use. We also looked at the Wise. I'm going to stick them on top there. This is the <laughs> Wise Cam. Well, you can put that well, one. I'm going to put the bundle up. This is the Wise Cam B3 here. This is the Wise Cam Pan. So these are really It's a nice. Wise Cam Pan version 2. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Wise Cam version 2. And that's the. This is Wise Cam version 3. Yeah. So this is a little bit ahead because they started with this little one. This yep. is just version 2. Yep. But these are the current ones. And then what else do we have over here? Okay, we've got the Casa. Yeah, this is cute. I, this is the one that does the patrol in the living room. It's pretty neat. So, you know, you, it, if you like, you know, like, for example, if you're a Wise, like, if you like Wise, because they have all sorts of things like vacuum cleaners and air purifiers and things like that. The the cool thing is if you get these things, it all works with that one app, right? If you get that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. If you go with Yuffie, they've got an app that controls them both, as you can see. And then... 
TP Link, Casa, same thing. They've got a bunch of things like you saw the previous shows where we had their outdoor camera and the doorbell. Um, all those things Smart come in. Plugs. Right. Now, also, all these things work on Wi Fi. Right? I don't That's think true. Yeah. You don't need any additional gadgets to run these. No. Any of them. You could just pick up any of these cameras and run them right out of the box as long as you have Wi Fi and a phone. That's kind of the core thing here. If you don't have Wi Fi and a phone, I don't know how you're watching us. Hopefully, it doesn't fall over. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little precarious. I think it was. But it, that's, it, that's the things we're showing today. They're all in the carousel. I encourage you to go ahead and click on the on the thing, especially like the TP-Link camera looked like it was on sale. Yep. So I encourage you to click on a go because it's a great little camera. I was actually really pleased with it. It was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Garage Door, uh, Eufy Garage Door Cam Plus is a brand new product. It just came out like a week ago uh, or so. I think yeah, about a week, maybe 10 days ago. And that is just a cool, cool device. We're currently still, you know, shaking it out. It seems to be working pretty good. It's had a couple of weird things happen. Uh, but otherwise, it, it works really well. It'll only get better over time. The uh, Solo Cam is a nice little camera if you need to go with HomeKit. If you want to go with HomeKit, it's nice. You will lose the 2K until Apple kind of gets their act together and allows you to do 2K. Um, and what else? I think that's it, right? I think I we've think got the Wise it. cameras. The camera is nice because you can get the, the Wise Cam V3, which is a stationary camera, but it's a very nice camera. And the Wise Cam Pan V2, which is awesome because it does that scanning mode and does motion follow and everything else that you saw in those videos. So that's yeah. that's pretty much a good so these collection. So these are three indoor camera brands that we really like. We've tested them. We've been using them for a long time. We find they're very reliable, easy to use, easy to install, all of those good things. So they're all good choices. Okay. I think that's it. Anybody, anybody else have any questions? Okay. All right. I think we're – what are we doing next week? Do you remember what we said we are doing next week? Oh, next week we're going to talk about water monitoring. <laughs> water monitors. Yeah, water monitoring. Yeah, we just one see of those our pictures. favorite topics actually. Because we have a whole bunch of different companies' water monitors, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so it should be a lot of fun. That and leak be kind detectors of a... and yeah, yeah well, so we've it's, it's tested a lot of things. It and it's great to uh, know, especially if you're not home, if you're traveling, if there's some water dripping in your home, uh, you really want to avoid that because nobody likes a flood. Yeah, so I think it's going to include the water uh, scent, the scent, the flood sensors, right, from mm -hmm. different companies, and they all have different capabilities. Uh, we'll look at uh, automatic shut off for your outside water. Uh, we'll also look at things to put on your your water meter that'll show you um, the, whether the water's flowing or not. And that's kind of nice if you're on vacation and the water's flowing. You kind of know hmm, it'd be nice to shut things yeah. off. So we'll kind of go through. We'll put things up on the uh, carousel when you just go to the uh, Amazon.com/slash/live/slash/at-my-home. When we post the uh, next show, which will be next Thursday at 4 p.m., uh, the carousel should be loaded up with the things we're going to talk about. Yeah. So, yep, we plan to be doing these lives at 4 p.m. Pacific time uh, for the entire month of September. So uh, we have two more left in September. Okay. Well, I think so we're ready, ready to go. So, right? yeah, thanks, everybody, for joining. We really appreciate it. We appreciate the questions, and we appreciate the, the tip on the gift list. So that's always good to plan ahead. So, all right. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.